Hey y'all, my name is Bill. Well, last night I did something that might come back to haunt me. I deleted 76 videos from my channel. <laughs> they were old and really poor quality, both in video resolution and audio quality. I also used the same thumbnail on all of them, not recommended, and the metadata was non-existent. Things like tags and good descriptions. Yes, I watched nearly a dozen other content creators who discussed whether removing old videos was a wise decision. My research was actually inconclusive, but I'm not sure if YouTube recommends deleting old videos. Let me clarify that I have some really old content that has performed well since my first video was uploaded in 2006. In that first video, I posted a brief word of congratulations to the Internet Granddad, Geriatric1927, whose name was Peter Oakley. That video has received on my channel about 2,400 views and 18 comments. In August 2006, I published a video from my son's wedding in England entitled, British Dad Passes the Torch to American Son-in-Law, and it's been viewed nearly 73,000 times and it's also one of the oldest. Strangely enough, I posted a video in January of last year titled My Regrets After Total Knee Replacement that achieved 45,000 views, which is the second highest views of any video I've ever posted. Well, I began taking YouTube more seriously in January 2023. But there were many years between 2006 and 2022 where I only uploaded one or two videos a year, but, but some years none at all. Other content creators warn against removing any videos, recommending that those old videos should just be left in place and the viewability changed to private. Yet there are others who recommend a fresh start by deleting any videos that have had very few views. So <laughs> I guess we'll see what happens. If you decide to do the same thing, please make sure to download each video to a safe place just in case you change your mind. I thought about creating a new YouTube channel for my cover songs, but the experts do not recommend diversification until the channel is well established, perhaps even monetized. When I first started producing YouTube videos on any sort of regular basis, I really had no plans or a strategy to intentionally grow the channel, which I originally called Papa's Place. But since retiring on disability in 2019, I have a lot more free time and it's important to my mental health to keep busy. So I began creating videos and uploading them in January 2023. My channel has grown significantly to over 350 subscribers in the past 16 months. I now find myself at a crossroads, wanting to grow and monetize the channel, but realizing that I really need to learn more about the YouTube algorithm and implement the changes needed to reach the next level, which requires a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours over the previous 365 days. If you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear about them in the comments section. At this point, I'm gonna say bye for now. <laughs>